Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. I have my safety glasses on today because I have a pot of very hot water. I also have a simple plastic bottle with a balloon on top and a bowl of ice water. Check this out. Watch what happens to the balloon when I put it in the pot of boiling water. It fills up with air. At least that's what it looks like. What do you think is going to happen when I put it in the bowl of cold water? Take it out, put it in, and it looks like the air goes out of the balloon. Well, this shows the big idea today. And the big idea today is that warm air expands when you heat it up, and air, when you cool it, it contracts. Here at Fun Science Demos, we're scientists because we always ask why or what if, or what if I did that, or what if this happened. Today, we're going to put a twist on this well-known demonstration. So our first twist is this. Scientists are always measuring things. And I wonder if there's some way that I can measure how much that air expands and contracts. Well, there is a way. And to do that, I have a very simple setup. I have a glass of very cold ice water. I took the water from this bowl with the ice in it, filled it up, and added some blue food coloring so you could see it better. Next, I need a plastic bottle. In this bottle, I did something special to it. I took a black marker and I made marks every 50 milliliters. Well, how did I do that? Well, I took a graduated cylinder, I filled it up to 50 milliliters with water, and dumped the water in, made a mark, Filled it up again, dumped the water in, made another mark. I kept filling it up, dumping it in, and making marks all the way up the bottle. Now at the very top, it didn't quite fit 50 milliliters. It only fit 40, so I marked 40. Now I'm ready to see if I can try and measure how much air contracts. Now I'm ready to measure how much air expands or how much air contracts. To do that, I'm going to take a little bit of this really hot water and carefully pour it into my bottle. I don't need a lot just enough to heat the air inside this bottle. What's happening is this air inside this bottle is heating. It's going out of the bottle. It's expanding. When I think it's expanded enough, I'm going to dump it back in and quickly, upside down, put this into the cup. And what you should see happening is the air inside this bottle is contracting and it's drawing this blue liquid, this blue water, up into the bottle because the air inside the bottle is contracting. I'm going to actually add an ice cube on top here to try and cool that air inside the bottle down as much as I possibly can. And it's still, if you watch carefully, that cold, cold water is cooling the air inside of this bottle, make it contracting, making it contract more and more and more. And you can see Wow, my blue line keeps coming up because that air inside continues to contract as it gets colder. It contracts more and more. Wow, this is really cool. I can see what line it's at and then I can actually measure how much that air has contracted inside this bottle. Pretty cool. So we've zoomed in so you can see the measurement lines on our bottle and it's absolutely amazing to see how much the air contracted into the bottle. Remember, the air didn't leave this bottle. The air line was starting at the bottom of the bottle and when I cooled that air, it contracted up into the bottle this much and it allowed that blue liquid to show us how much the air actually contracted. So let's use our measurement lines and figure this out. So the first line is 40. 40 and another 50 is 90. 90 and another 50 would put us at 140. 140 and another 50 is 190. 190 plus another 50 is 240. 240 and it looks like I have another 25 would be 265 milliliters. It looks like the air in this bottle almost contracted to half of its total volume when I cooled it. Remember when I put the bottle into the cup the air line was all the way down at the top of the bottle. When I cooled that air, it contracted all the way up and I can actually measure how much it contracted. But can I measure how much air expands? Now let's see if we can measure how much air expands. And to do that, we need this setup. And all it is are, I have plastic bottles, straws, I have water and air. This is our air bottle. Nothing is inside this bottle except air. This is our push bottle. This is going to show us how much the air actually is expanding. And this is our measuring bottle. This is our graduated cylinder with our measuring marks. Now here's what's going to happen. I have this in a 
coffee pot because I'm going to pour hot water all around this bottle. What's the hot water going to do to the air inside the bottle? It's going to heat that air. And what does that hot air want to do? It wants to expand, but there's no place for it to expand except through the straw. So the air should expand in this bottle, push up through the straw, and the only place it can go is down into this little air space in this bottle. Well, if that air is expanding with force and pressure, it should be enough pressure to push down on this water. This water has no place to go except up this pink straw through over here, down into our measuring bottle. It's a pretty cool chain reaction, but it's just air expanding. The water will help us see the air expanding. Here we go. So we've zoomed in so you can take a closer look at what's going to happen. I'm going to dump hot water into here. This bottle is totally sealed up. The air inside should get heated. The air should expand, push its way over. The air should be strong enough to push down on this bottle. I want you to watch, it's gonna happen fast. The air is going to push with so much force, this water is going to push down lower, up through the straw, into our measuring bottle. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Hot water is going in. And you can see my push bottle. The air is pushing, pushing, pushing down on this, this blue water. The blue water is being pushed up the purple, the pink straw, into my measuring bottle and I have a good amount here to measure. Remember, when we heated the air in this bottle, it expanded, pushed down on the blue water. The blue water was pushed up our pink straw into our measuring bottle, and I can count 50, 100, almost 150 milliliters. Our air in this bottle expanded almost 150 milliliters. Absolutely amazing. Trying to see air expand and contract is almost impossible because it's invisible. We can't see it. But with our demonstration, not only can we see the air expand and contract, we can actually measure it. And so can you. If you want to learn more about air and air pressure, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool, especially when you try something new. Thanks for watching.